Welcome to your interview, Caleb. Thank you, I'm honored to be here. Before we get started, would you like something to drink? Oh yeah, I'm real thirsty, thank you. So let me just break down the organization a little bit for you so you have a better idea of what you're getting yourself into. So we have corporate, and that's where you are now. We then have a group of divisions, right? And these are in five states, five different states. These kind of help branch out our products to different areas of the country. Within corporate, we have the dev team. That's where you would be working. Are you nervous or something? Oh, this? No, no, I'm not nervous. I just always give 110%. Hi guys, my name is Caleb, and this video is gonna be about getting through the technical interview. Why is it that so many people despair at the thought of going through one of these technical coding interviews? Mainly because the technical interview is extremely difficult. Not to mention you're in a room with a stranger and you're required to usually code on a whiteboard. Even though these things are challenging, you can get through them, and this video is gonna give you what you need. The first thing you need to do is study your face off. Obviously, the more prepared you are, the better the interview is likely to go. It's important to understand that these interviews are not really designed to test pure knowledge, but rather test your way of thinking. Thus, even if you're very good at development and you know a lot, the chances are you're going to get a question that's very hard and is likely going to challenge you beyond your capabilities. If they just asked you questions and you got every single one right, they don't really understand how far your knowledge goes. But if they ask you some questions and you start having challenges, well then they can understand what you do know and what you're not really familiar with. One of the best ways to prepare for technical interviews is through Pramp. Pramp is a sponsor of this channel and they have an awesome platform for you to do mock technical interviews. So you get on this platform and you get paired with another individual and you do interviews with one another. The questions that you go through are actually technical questions covering algorithms and data structures. And these are the types of questions that are going to be used in real coding interviews. On top of that, once you do enough interviews with Pramp, you can actually do interviews with real companies to get tech positions. It's really sweet, check it out. I will leave a link for you guys in the description. One question a lot of beginners have is what language you should learn to prepare for these interviews. A lot of the times it actually doesn't matter. Usually the language of choice is going to be up to you. So whatever you're most familiar with to get the problem done. Because of the specific requirements often asked for by these companies, I would recommend you have a balance in the way you study. So spend half of it focusing on a lot of the fundamentals and then maybe half of it studying the specific requests for that position. A good employer will understand that the fundamentals are really valuable and that's what's going to make you a good employee. But oftentimes they need to hit the ground running and because of that they need you to know this and this and this. So when I say focus on the fundamental stuff, what exactly am I talking about? Well, the two biggest things are data structures and algorithms. You should understand what some of the most common algorithms are. And if you're applying for a big name job like Google or something, you're going to need to know how to implement a lot of these algorithms. With algorithms comes time complexity. So this is big O notation. You should understand the difference between big O of N versus N squared versus N factorial and so forth. And also know different algorithms, what their time complexities are for like the average case or the worst and best case. You also should have a good foundation in data structures. So an example of a data structure would be a hash set or even a hash map or a linked list. Each data structure has a use for a different type of application. And as a developer, it's good to know which one is good for what application. Beyond the data structures and algorithms, you should have a pretty good foundation in just programming. So this means understanding the control flow statements it means understanding object-oriented programming. What the heck is a class and an object? What is the three pieces of object-oriented programming, which is inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation? What exactly do those mean and how do we implement those in our code? You should understand what a generic type is. So if you had something like list with these carrots and had some type in between that, what exactly that means. You should understand the common data types for a particular language. Try to familiarize yourself with exceptions and how to catch those and debug. And the list of course goes on and on and on. And I think it would be really cool for me to do a video going into all of those technical details of what you need to know. But right now I'm just trying to give you that fundamental thing that you can start 
piecing away at. When we're talking about the specifics for a job, this might be a particular framework or maybe a type of programming. So maybe you need to have experience in functional programming with F sharp. And you might not have that in your day-to-day -day experience up to now. So you could spend a day or so just familiarizing yourself with it. So when they ask you a simple question, you can at least know a little bit about the answer. Lastly, on the technical piece, I would recommend a book, Cracking the Coding Interview. This is going to give you the fundamental knowledge required to ace these interviews. And essentially, this is going to start by talking about data structures and algorithms and the big O notation. Then it'll go into some more algorithmic stuff. So talking about recursion versus dynamic programming, how to use arrays, strings, the difference between a stack and a queue, common math problems and logic puzzles, object-oriented design, sorting and searching. It just goes into all of the fundamental knowledge that you need to know to ace an interview. Not only is this great for interviews, but every computer science graduate or computer science student should know a lot of the material in this book by the time they get through school. So if you just need something to help prepare you for the real world, <laughs> I'd highly recommend this book. I am working through it right now and it has been tremendously helpful for my knowledge and my understanding. I will leave a link to this in the description as well. Once you have that technical foundation, there is a lot you can do to make the interview go better. Basically, try to do anything you can to show that you care about this position and you're genuinely interested in giving it a go. When you get into this interview, more than likely you're going to be with a complete stranger you've never met before. This person is going to be able to determine your future within a very short time period. Because of this, you need to make sure that you are being authentic. Right, because for one, if you're not being authentic, let's say you're putting on a fake self and you manage to get the position. Well, you're likely going to be miserable or you're not going to have a good culture fit or you're going to be in a role that is just too hard for the skills you have. You should be authentic in your experience. So I would recommend against putting every language you've ever touched or thought about on the resume, just focus on the ones you're really fluent at because those are the things they're most likely going to ask questions about when they're trying to get a feel for how you are technically. You'll likely get some questions that they are using to test your response, right? So they might ask you a question like, what is your greatest weakness? Oh, I don't have weaknesses. <laughs> My biggest weakness, I work too hard. I'm just so smart, nobody really understands how I work. Well, I'm really experienced, so I really don't make any bugs in my code. And so forth, right? So all of those things you just said basically would show you really are pathetic and you probably shouldn't be hired. <laughs> you can get a lot more details and tips on getting an interview in the description below. I will leave a link to my new blog. It's pretty sick. Got lots of good info in there and some funny pictures, so be sure to check it out. But before we go, I just wanted to give you a couple more tips. One of the biggest things is you need to be positive. The interview is basically a representation of who you're going to be for the rest of that company, right? So it's, it's looking at who you are as a person and not just your skills. So if you're in there all negative, like, oh man, I, I, I don't know the answer and I'm terrible, blah, blah, blah. Like they're not gonna wanna hire you, right? It's all about the impression you give these people. Don't ever just quit because that basically will translate to them thinking, oh, well, when he's given a big problem at work, he's probably just gonna quit. There's a lot of questions that can easily go down negative paths and you really, really, really gotta avoid negativity. So if they ask you a touchy question, make sure you respond in a positive manner. Welcome to your interview, Caleb. Thank you. Before we get started, I just had a couple of questions about your work history here. So it says you worked at big company for two months. Can you explain that? Oh, that, that just did not go well. The management was terrible. My boss came in yelling at me every day, get your work done. Caleb, you're pathetic. I got so sick of it. Plus there was no parking. I had to walk like a mile basically to get into work. The snacks were stale. What is this, right? I got so tired of it. I hacked into their servers and deleted all the information for all of their customer records. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, it was nice interviewing you. We'll get back to you in about a week. Great, I, I look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Still nothing? Gosh. What did I do wrong? So before you go into your interview, purge your mind of doubt, shame, negativity, think positive thoughts, watch some cat videos before you go in. Anything you can do to think on the positive side of things. If you get the job, great. That's awesome and congratulations. If you don't get the job, move on to the next one and don't beat yourself up. 
That's my tips for you guys. Hopefully they were helpful. If you've enjoyed this content, I please just ask you to subscribe and of course share it with all your friends, right? If you really enjoy the content, consider supporting me on a monthly basis using Patreon. Before you guys go, why don't you leave a comment below just saying one thing you did to help you get through a technical interview. Or if you had a terrible experience, why don't you tell us a story? <laughs> Thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.